Hello all you fire friends. I hope you're doing wonderful this week. It is time for your next reading. So if you're Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, listen up because these are your messages. Now, if you haven't joined me for a reading before, no problem, friends. Please just understand, not every message is gonna resonate with you and that's totally cool. If you need a private reading, check me out at my website, kellyfergusonreadings.com. And if you like these messages, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so I can continue to do readings for all of you. Now, friends, we're gonna look at priorities this week, okay? So, we don't really know exactly what's gonna come up for everybody, but it is going to be of some sort of importance because we are speaking priorities. Now, I already had a card jump out for you fire signs, and this actually has a lot of relevance for me as well, right, because of course I'm a fire sign. Iceberg and submerge, and it's interesting because I was bringing this up earlier as well. In terms of what priorities are going on for you, this either means that there's something that has been either hanging around like the elephant in the room where you are concerned, or these are some emotional things that are coming up that really need to be looked into and really purged, okay? But this is also giving the flavor of whatever it is that is on your plate that you have to take care of or this elephant in the room you need to get rid of. This is something that has either been daunting or something that's been hanging around for a while and you haven't wanted to really take action on it or you've been delaying taking action on it for some reason, but it is time for these things to come up to the surface, fire friends. So let's take a look at what's going on for your priorities. So fire friends, please. Fire friends, let's talk about priorities. What is most important to our fire signs right now and what is your biggest priority, okay? So for our fire friends that we are reading for here, what is our biggest priority that we need to tend to right now? Fire friends, please. Well, there it is, flying out. Okay, Four of Swords. So this is gonna speak to me about taking rest, my friends. And this is, you know how we talked about with this iceberg and submerge, something that's been daunting, something that's been hanging around for a while that maybe you haven't taken um, action on or you've been delayed taking action on for some reason. This card is speaking to me about, let's just say, uh, taking some peace time for yourself. Now, yes, this iceberg and submerge card is coming up and saying, all right, time to deal with it and this isn't the message that's saying don't deal with it but this is a card that's saying is this this you know elephant in the room for you is this something that you're supposed to walk away from is this something that you're not supposed to battle with or toy with anymore are you is it time to let go is it time to walk away from something and to create more peace in your mind okay so whatever has been going on for you fire signs this has been something that you've been rolling around in your head for some time and you would really rather put it down or either have it solved or have it out of your way altogether okay so what's the biggest barrier or like challenge going on for you right now whoa all right so three these all kind of jumped out here <laughs> definitely fire signs you were thinking of walking away from something at this point or moving on okay you have spent your time either with an, a person an individual or organization with either whatever the belief patterns are whatever this is for you you have been looking to walk away for some time but you haven't my friends okay eight of cups six of swords in reverse Seven of Wands, feeling a little defensive, are we? Have you had to defend yourself, fire signs? Uh-huh, yes, you have. And then the hangman, so you know your situation and you know, you know, you know, fire signs. There's been a situation coming up for you and it has been time to take a look at it. And so even though all these cards jumped out of the deck that absolutely tell a story, what's going on? Boom, independence, nine of pentacles. So, fire friends, what's getting in the way? What's your challenge here of getting rest? This is an opportunity for you either to go out on your own to do your own thing, whether that means leaving your existing organization, moving away from this relationship, whatever is holding you back. But fire signs, if this is for you, you're already gonna know what I'm talking about because this has been on your mind already. You've been pushing it down, you've been delaying it, or you've been waiting for more information to make an informed decision. And the big barrier here for you is doing it on your own or moving forward in an independent type of way to feel freedom and this also for many of you can have to do with either security in a career or within your household because we're talking pentacles here we're talking about foundations of physical reality creativity abundance all of that okay tangible physical ma manifestation so yeah this is important this is like big time important so what can you change in this situation page of pentacles you can absolutely control the money flow here but not where you're coming from fire signs so 
see how this is in reverse, right? So the things that you can change is either the direction that you're putting your money or the direction that you're putting your focus. Perhaps you need to plant more seeds or plant seeds in a different garden because what you're growing right now isn't getting you what you want. So what do you need to accept out of this situation, fire signs? Yeah, fire signs, it's all over the board. It's time to either move on or to make a decision. It is, look at this, two icebergs, two decisions. This is about looking forward and seeing where does your heart go pity pat, right? What makes you feel good? Is it time to keep doing the things that made you feel that you were stuck? Or is it time to move on and try a new direction? But definitely for you fire signs, you already know both sides of the coin here, but you aren't making a decision because you're worried about the independence factor here for you. Okay. Okay. You have to accept that it is time to make changes because fire signs, what's also important is if you don't make changes when the time is right, you can go into another cycle and you don't wanna do that here, okay? It is time to let go. It is time to bring it all to the surface. So if you do this, if you let go and if you actually make the choice that you really need to make here, what's gonna happen? How are things gonna progress for you? Ooh, seven of cups, fire signs, choices, Right? So whatever it is that you're doing here that isn't getting you what you want, if you make some decisions to go off on your own, you are going to have more choices, you're going to have more opportunity come your way, and you're going to be able to pick and choose some of the avenues or opportunities that you move forward to. Beautiful. Now, is there any advice or guidance for our fire signs? as we uh, prepare to either take a leap of faith moving forward or, well, it's not even a leap of faith because based on these cards, you know exactly what's going on, exactly where you're coming from and where you want to go to. So what's the advice and guidance from Spirit here for our lovely fire friends? Advice and guidance, please. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh fire signs. Didn't I tell you it's about working either with others or for some of you this is definitely a career type piece. Three of Pentacles, this card speaks to meeting and collaborating with other people, putting your energies with other teams, working in a team environment or collaborating with others to build something new. I can't make this up, okay? Now, your other pieces of advice, advice and guidance, stop stressing, my friends. Things can seem heavy, yes, but when you know what the real deal is and you start to move forward in the direction that you wanna go, instead of you know being stuck not making a decision, which is what's been going on for you, then you put the worries to bed, my friends, right? Because you're not making a decision. Some of the stress you're bringing on yourself, fire signs. But advice, guidance, holy cow, if this wasn't a fire sign type, reading king of wands that's right and this is kind of like this huge project manager take charge type of attitude and it, again it doesn't have to be a work environment situation but this tells me you get a new fire in your belly you are the one who is ready to move forward and either start off a new project or to begin something new or to go off on your own and call something your own because you are not afraid of change and you are not afraid to take the bull by the horns and move forward strongly whoa fire signs I don't know what is going on with all of you and your individual plates, but I expect to see a lot of stuff coming down the line for you guys in your readings because you are definitely setting the stage for some big change. Good for you, fire signs. If you like this reading and it helped you out, please don't forget to help me out and give me a like, share, and subscribe. And if you need a private reading, check me out at my website, kellyfergusonreadings.com. See you, friends.